Hello, my name is Hippolyte Zoué. This is a tutorial series about automatic text recognition and you're watching the third video about image optimization. We will first talk about the scanning process and what you need to know. Uh, we will also address the possible pre-processing steps like cropping or dewarping. Finally, we will talk about problems arising during possible pre-processing tasks. With the help of optical systems such as scanners, cameras or similar devices, a digital image can be created from an analog original. Most important about those images are pixel density, color space and data format in order to allow optimal text recognition. In many cases, your documents will already be digitized. But if not, there are a few things to keep in mind. In digital pictures, everything starts with tiny dots called pixels. The pixel density is measured in DPI, dots per inch. Images for ATR purposes uh, should best have between 300 and up to 400 DPI for an A4 page. In general, you can do ATR regardless of the color space of your images. However, uh, results will be better with color images compared to grayscale or black and white. If you scan images yourself, make sure you scan in color. It is the most effective for recognizing things like stamps or uh, strange beat through effects. Color can also help to make things clearer. Boosting contrasts or flipping colors around can make details pop. Now let's talk about file formats. For long-term archiving, formats like TIFF or G JPEG 2000 are often recommended. They are very rich and very large file formats. Uh, for processing image files through HER pipeline, though, uh, Simple formats like PNG or JPEG or even PDF work fine. If you need to convert a file format into another, you can use a converter. We recommend using ImageMagick, which is open source and free of charge. Uh, if you're lucky, you can do HR right away. This is usually the case if you received your images from a cultural heritage institution. However, if you're confronted with double-sided pages or crooked and poorly cropped images, then you will have to go through what is called pre-processing. This can include uh, adjusting brightness and contrast, cropping, splitting, rotating and dewarping. You can use any graphic editor to, for this task. In our example, we will use GIMP, a free to use software that is very easy to use. Change contrast and brightness if necessary. Cropping a messy image is very important because it will save us time later on. Let me show you. Choose the cropping tool and left click on one corner of the image. Drag the cropping zone to the opposite corner in order to crop the desired area. Press enter. For page separation, just perform this step twice and save each page individually. Rotation can be achieved by using GIMP's rotation tool. Hold down the shift and R key. You can enter a value in degrees depending on how you would like to rotate your image. Press enter and don't forget to save. Dewarping or deskewing is perhaps the most technically demanding pre-processing task. You should only use it if it is absolutely necessary. For easy dewarping, you can use GIMP, which has a dewarping brush. Press W. You will need to manually realign the lines in your document which is a lot of work.
You can also work with lenses. Go to Filters, Distorts, Lens Distortion, and experiment with the settings to obtain a de-warped page. Let's conclude. Pre-processing your images can increase your chances of achieving higher transcription results. It might be easier for the computer to do layout analysis. However, pre-processing is time consuming. If done incorrectly, it can even have a negative impact on your transcription results. Sometimes, it might be more efficient to train a layout or recognition model to deal with the imperfections in, of your images, like weak contrast or translucent pages. Ultimately, it comes down to assessing your goals and your needs. Do you need a perfect transcription for the purpose of a digital edition or is an approximate text enough? Equally important, how much time can you spend on pre-processing? It is time consuming, but it might save you time later on. Um, especially at the beginning, it's a difficult guess. Our advice is to talk to experts. This was our video on image optimization. If you want to learn more about the next steps in the ATR pipeline, make sure to watch our video on layout analysis.